Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd just test a product out. I was at the Showcase store recently and noticed that they had a cosmetic section, so scurried on over there. I uh, found some Morphe products, some ColourPop products, and then an eyeliner stamp. Uh, I have no idea what the brand is. This is all that the packaging has, with the exception of ingredients. Uh, and then the product itself is just a plain black tube. So I have no clue who makes this product. Um, so on the one end, there is a rather fat looking marker. Um, does end in a very defined point, so here's hoping. And then on the other end, there is a stamp. Let's see if I can get it to show. There. So I suppose, the philosophy behind this is that it's going to make winged liner easy. I have no idea. I'm rather skeptical, but um, for the sake of science, I threw my money at it and I am crossing my fingers that it actually does work. Why don't we do this? Let's jump into it. So I'm going to go in with this end. I'm pleased to note that it does create a very thin line, and I guess I should have done one of these. Nope. Um, and then if I... Yeah, there's only so much control you can have over it, because it is rather a flexible tip at the end there. But there's pressing a little bit harder, and there's trying to um, make as thin a line as possible. That's about as thin as I can get. Um, no, well, it's not great. Of course, I haven't really given it a fair chance to dry down. So while I'm mussing about with my eye, I'll let that one dry and then we'll see. So. The real test for me is whether or not it feathers in the inner corner. Um, for the most part, I really enjoy the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. Tattoo? Yeah. Yes. But it has a nasty habit of feathering on that inner corner for me and then mucking up my eyeshadows that are in that area. And I don't appreciate that. Okay, so I'm just going to take this out to the corner here. It applies more easily than I thought it would in terms of just like not feathering, not tugging. To be sure, it's not the smoothest application I've had, like the Physician's Formula one just kind of glides right along. Um, but it's also not the worst. All right, so I'm gonna go in with this stamp. Let's see. Mm. So here it is there. There is like a little spot missing from it. Here we go. Let's see. So I'm just gonna line it up and angle it. That's not terrible. It's really not. Like it didn't didn't fully connect. Like if you can let's see if I can do this. Ah, eyeball. You can see right in here, like it's not fully connected. But I'm not super mad at that because I can connect that with the other end. The shape itself isn't bad. And it didn't like drip everywhere or anything. <laughs> well, let's see. So I'll go back in with the um, regular liner end. I just like my wing to be just a little bit pointier, so touch up the tail a bit, but 
That's not terrible. That's really not. Huh. Let's see if I can replicate it. And this is, oh. This is my bad eye. My, my does not play nice in the sandbox eye. So I don't think I've angled it quite, okay. Well, let's fill it in and see what we do, how we do. The shape of this eye is a little bit trickier to deal with than the other. I mean, be honest, you have a favorite eye too, right? Like. This is the one where I'm like, why can't you be more like your sister? And this is the one that I'm like, you can have all the cookies. Yeah, I don't know that this worked out quite as well on this eye as it did on this eye. So I'm just gonna go in with a bit of micellar water because I do have like foundation and all the makeup on. Um, so I don't want to disturb all of that, but I guess we'll also see how easily it comes off. I, I suspect this is one of those products that's gonna flake during the day. Um, yeah, I was going to do the test on this one, so this finger's dry. Okay, so it's not as bad nearly at all, um, but there is some pulling away from it. And you can see that some of it is now missing on there, so I don't think this is going to be the most long-wearing of products. All right, so I'm gonna try it again, and hopefully my placement's a little bit better. I don't know where I went wrong. So I think I'll just get it a little bit closer. That looks better. And also when I do my line on this eye, I usually have to make it a bit thinner than this one because I've got like a double crease instead of the single crease that I have over here. So it's a little bit more hooded than this, I don't know. It drives like asymmetry. Um, okay, and this one actually doesn't look too dull. But I will point it just a little bit more. I don't wanna get too fussy with it. So it's not completely perfect. Um, this one's angled out a little bit more. This one's angled up a little bit more, but I think that's just being really nitpicky. Like, I don't think it's screamingly obvious. It's not like they're like, like completely in different angles. Um, so, it works. Who would have thought? Um, the line is nice and black. It's drying matte, not shiny, which I appreciate. I don't think it's going to be the most long wearing product. Um, just from the way it feels when I apply over top of it, it feels thick almost. Um, so I suspect there will be some flaking off, but that's pure speculation at this point. Um, but yeah, so thank you for joining me on this little experiment and whether or not this stamp eyeliner works. Uh, I don't hate the result. I really don't. I'm impressed. Um, I don't know that it's any faster really than just doing a wing on, on its own, but the novelty is there. Um, I will use it again, depending on how it performs. Uh, and the actual liner part of itself, um, it actually applied rather easily and I'm not upset with it. So, uh... I am upset, however, with this tart, glossy, whatever the fuck this is, the tartest glossy lip paint. It is like traveling Joe. It's in the corner of my mouth. It's on my teeth. I'm not happy with this. I'm glad it's just a little sample size. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Until then, I drop something every time. Every time. Until then... Just be a decent human being. Bye for now. It is now 12.30 at night. I have had this eyeliner on for seven hours and it is doing surprisingly well. Um, it hasn't flaked away. It's still even pretty far into that inner corner there. That usually tends to like vacate by the end of the day for me. Um, it hasn't flaked off. It hasn't even really Okay, maybe right in that corner there a bit. Oh, if I zoom it in too far, it'll get angry.
So it's starting to fade right where it bends. And then we'll see, this one was not the best application. So it is fading a bit in the corner here. Now I've also been yawning quite a bit and my eyes have been running. Ignore how janky my under eyes look, but uh, overall though, for what I thought was gonna be straight up gimmick, I'm kind of impressed. I don't know that I would go out and like repurchase it when it dries up because like I said, applying it, you may as well just do a wing liner. But if you're completely intimidated by doing that and want something relatively simple, this one really wasn't that bad. Um, you just have to kind of connect it and draw it in a little bit, but not a bad deal. And I'm very pleased to note that the actual eyeliner portion of it does work well um, and has lasted well on the eyes. I'm not overly surprised at the amount of fading um, on the wing because most eyeliners will do that for me. My physician's formula has excellent staying power. Um, but even that at the end of the day will start to look like it's the end of the day. Uh, so I am not mad at this at all. It was $10 at the showcase store. Um, no idea who makes it. If I can figure out who makes it, I'll put it in the description bar below. Um, but yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised. I thought for sure it was just going to be a complete write-off. Um, but I'm pleased with the way it turned out. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching and I'll check you later. Bye for now. And this a little bit. Ugh, this like I, I know I'm not sure what happened here. <laughs> I really I don't know man. It's like it just broke right off. Like I I don't know. <gasps> I don't know what I'm trying to do. Oh this piece of hair, I'm just gonna shave my head. <sighs> Spend my life generally frustrated, you know what I mean? Like there's a lot of stupid people in the world and I seem to have a knack for finding them all.